Hi, Robert. Long time no see. I know, like uh, five Two seconds, because we're going to have our <laughs> second session, uh, part of the session. And um, Eric, still doing okay, obviously. You still know I love you. He said, I miss you, Mom. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> Uh, here is a, oh, this is a good one that Eric wanted to bring up. What Matt. is the true definition of success? To a lot of people, it's like, oh, I have a yacht, a fancy car, big house. Yeah, Eric said, you know, Mom, it's so fucking simple. He said it's the fact that you came here and lived a life. Well, that's going to be a very short video. So he said, absolutely. <laughs> he said, I know. He said, that. He said, but it's so fucking simple. You yeah. know, he said, human beings make, make success so complicated, right? But he said, I'll tell you how you know, you know, as a human being, how to tap into the success that your soul knows you are uh, uh, achieving. Mm -hmm. uh, do things that make you happy, right? Go to a place, you know, do the things that allow you to feel joy and happiness. Because Eric says, true success is that. It's finding this place of emotional balance mm -hmm. and peace and serenity and comfort and all those things, joy and happiness and all of that. And he says they're all in line with that. Well, isn't there, just, isn't there some, some success to be had for going through pain and suffering? And he said, at least if you find the value in, uh, in it and incorporate those into your life and your growth. Eric says, absolutely, Mom. He said, because from a soul perspective, they understand that it's creating a deeper connection to other people, mm -hmm. right? Greater empathy, compassion, all that kind of stuff. As a human being, you know, many times the human beings don't, don't see that, you know, because mm -hmm. they're wounded. Yeah. And they don't necessarily have another human being to help support and love them through it. Mm -hmm. But from the soul perspective, it's, it's, it's success. Okay. Right? You're doing what you came here to do, yeah. which is to, uh, to experience the contrast of things. You know, Eric says, you know, you just can't have, uh, you know, light without dark. Yeah. You know, you have to have the two together. They complement each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he says, so success is very simple. <laughs> it really is. It's just not so simple. Uh, it's just not so uh, so easy to be simple, though, right? Yeah, sometimes that, it's harder to be simple I think that's than it is to be complicated. It probably yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah, human beings, you know, he says our mind, they go, it goes and asks a lot of questions, and then the questions have lots of answers, and then the answers produce more questions, mm -hmm. and it just has this long, infinite loop that never ends, right? Until you decide that, you know, you've just had enough of all that, and you've gathered enough information for your human mind to then allow your heart to connect, uh, or your mind to, to take that, those experiences and that wisdom and connect it to what your heart knows to be true. Mm -hmm. You know, when those two things come together, Eric says, that's fucking powerful, right? Yeah. Because think about it. He says, you know, now you know how to act on your passions without allowing your passions to take you over, mm. right? You can't be passionate without a little bit of wisdom and do that in a balanced way. Mm -hmm. He said so many times people, this is what creates a lot of conflict, you know, and anger. People get angry about something. They get they're very passionate about it, which is why they get angry. Mm -hmm. But then that anger just takes them over, and then they like, you know, go off. Yeah. You know. So how can pe how how can we what can you tell people so that they can redefine success for themselves and achieve that kind of success for themselves? He said, "Well, number one, you have to stop comparing yourself to everyone else." Oh God, yeah. Your journey is your journey, mm -hmm. right? And ultimately, when you tease out all the experiences of your life, it goes back to an emotional place. And those emotions that you're experiencing are the same as everyone else, right? Yeah. We're, all, we're all, all the same. <laughs> so he said, stop comparing yourself, you know. Uh, you know, it, it, just, it just makes you unhappy. Yeah. Right? And Eric says, and another thing is you have to know when to focus on yourself and when not to. Mm. So many, so many people focus so much on themselves. I know. That Narcissist. They well, he says, you know, sometimes it's that way, but he says a lot of times it's just they're I focused know. on themselves because they're injured and they're trying to figure out, well, where's this injury coming from, right? Yeah. And he says, um, you know, you just have to sometimes kind of step back from that and start like uh, putting focus on other people or other things. Mm -hmm. Because then that kind of puts your life in perspective. Yeah. You know? Okay. 
so he says uh, so he said those would be like the main two uh, things I would say okay now why what can we tell people who who see success as you know having material possessions and uh, a, a really powerful career and things like that he said well mom you know some people would say and you know that you know that's egocentric mm -hmm. you know that and this that and the other he said and, and of course it can be used that way right mm -hmm. but for some people it's it's really about um like projecting to the world how this person feels to, about themselves, right? Like they feel like they have enough, right? Some people, that's literally how they feel, right? They go and they get these material things because they're trying to say, you know, I have abundance, right? Mm -hmm. Now, other people, though, they don't do it that way. They do it because they're trying to impress others because they don't feel good about themselves, yeah. right? Uh, or they want to feel powerful or whatnot. And those people, it isn't always sustainable, yeah, right? Not necessarily from a financial or material perspective, because that may always be there, but from a mental health, from a, a spiritual health place. Right? Eventually, that will all crash down. Because he said, if you know, he says, he said, um, uh, you know, I've had experiences with souls who they lived those lives, right? Yeah. Poppy, for instance, Poppy. Oh, he, yeah, right? my my father. He had. Yeah. You know, well, you have everything you want, but but yeah. you're miserable as shit. Oh. And Eric says, you know, and, and those people, he says, if they have material things, but even a person who doesn't, right, you know, it's, it's still coming from the same place, this feeling of inadequacy, of no, no worth, right? I, I remember, uh, this, this is a side story, I hate to interrupt, but I will okay. forget because my mind is very old, um, <laughs> that uh, when we were younger, he asked the accountant if he could take all his belongings and instead of, you know, uh, bequeathing them on his children, he could put it in his coffin so that nobody could have it. And the, and, and the accountant said, no, that's illegal. Yeah. What kind of person does that? That's kind of weird. Yeah. Eric said, well, that's, that's somebody who, what? I'm sorry, your poppy, uh, Jose came in. Uh -oh. <laughs> so I was like, sorry, pop, like, poppy or dad, I outed I, you. Well, cause I heard him come in and, and, uh, Eric started talking to him, and he goes, "Are y'all talking about me?" Oh, yes, we are. And he, and he kind of does this like this, where he's like, mm. "Uh huh, uh huh." <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry, Jose. That's he always, he always throws himself young. Oh, good. Yeah, uh, Eric says, but ultimately, Mom, you know what that is? That's vanity. Yeah. I own this. It's mine. I, it stays with me, right? And and your dad says, you know, I I agree. Yeah. He said, this is why I always show myself as young. Uh -huh. Well, you're a you're a angelic being now. You don't have the terrible personality that you had before. You're a no. being of light. You're a wonderful soul now. He says, I don't, but I'm still me. Yeah. So don't cross me. Uh -huh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he said, but I'm not talking to you. He yeah, said, I'm not saying that's how my personality is. Okay. Right? You know that to be true. I know that to be true. <laughs> yeah, you do. Oof, you've been on the other side of his wrath. All yeah. right, so, so yeah, let's talk about, um, and that was when my dad was alive. Stop growling. Uh, let's talk <laughs> she, more. Knows, she knows he's here. <laughs> oh, must. No, Sorry, talk, Jose. Talk more about, um, about people who just feel like, Success means material possessions and power and, uh, you know, status. Uh, he said, well, mom, I mean, it's really ultimately for some people, if they're, if they're, you know, pursuing it from a place that isn't sustainable, it's like I said, uh, it's about power. Mm -hmm. you know, for some people, it's about power. Uh, it's about proving that they're worthy of something. Why? Is it because they don't feel like they're wor truly worthy themselves on their own? Ultimately, Eric says, if you get down to the very core of it, it's, it's that. It's not feeling like they're worthy, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and then the power mm -hmm. makes them feel like maybe they are, right? Oh, okay. But it's, it's just a facade, he says. Yeah, like you know, just, Ferraris, big yachts, there's a little man sitting Yeah, there. status, that kind of thing. Yeah. He, says, you know? he says, but I don't knock people that have it, he said, like I said. Yeah, some, people, just, are, some people are probably just fine and love themselves right. and are very spiritual and wonderful and 
it's okay for them to have abundance, right? I mean, right. Eric says there's, there's nothing wrong with that because Eric says the thing about abundance is ultimately from a spiritual perspective, it's seeing that there's no such thing as scarcity, right? That's true. There's nothing. And, scarcity and, scarcity and, is an illusion. Right. And you have to feel that within yourself. And that scarcity is related to this unending, uh, uh, infinite supply of love that you're immersed in, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, there was a great quote by this poet named Rumi. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love him. Become one of my favorites. And he said, it, I'm just kind of paraphrasing, but it was something like, your task is not to seek for love, but to remove the uh, obstacles that keep you from uh, receiving it. Mm. Right? Yeah. And ultimately, yeah, and ultimately that's what we're, we're here, you know, to do. Right? That's when we live in abundance, is to remove those obstacles around us. And well, that's Eric, Eric once said, oh, go ahead. Yeah. But, uh, as, you know, and as a soul, you know, it knows that our, 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 the process that we go through as human beings, that's what it's doing, right? Okay, we, well, I know that Eric had, uh, had a quote. Uh, it was, uh, we are here in this human experience to remember that we are love. So mm -hmm. that's kind of the same as Rumi's, you know. Yeah, that's we right. are love. There's, get the obstacles away. Get the camouflage away. Hey, we're love. Eric says, Mom, I need to hire a publicist. Yeah, we are. Yeah. We already get have this, it in our life. We just don't recognize let's, it. Let's get this shit out here. This, this love is all everything. That's right. <laughs> so, uh, anything else about success? Surely there's he said, more. He said, you know, it's really so simple, Mom. Uh, I mean, I, I can't, like, elaborate too much more, he said, because uh, we just really covered the main two topics, that, you know, it's about abundance, mm -hmm. and that... Uh, the material things and stuff can be a representation of that for you, mm -hmm. but uh, ultimately, if you don't truly embrace that on a soul level, and which then gets reflected in an emotional place, then the material things won't they won't they won't matter. They won't you know, satisfy won't, you. They won't really. satisfy you. Yeah. 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 And then you said, so what do you do? You keep trying to get more and more and more. Right. Right. You keep trying to get more power, or you know. Uh, more status or whatnot. I guess status and power would be the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's pretty much it. All right. Well, that's great. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. You're this welcome. Is really good. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk uh, next about how to manifest your intentions or goals, and that kind of goes along with success. So that's going to be a good one. Yeah, these have all kind of like tied in with each other. They really are. Lo we talked about love mm -hmm. and what that is really. And then success, which has so much to do with self-love. Yeah. And then intentions and, you know, how to manifest, basically. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So we'll talk in a little bit. Bye, Robert. Bye. Bye, Eric. Love you. Bye, Mom. See ya. Bye.